Welcome to Kicks Gaming, this is Papa Kicks. Because Rumble Heroes link for update notes doesn't work and it requires you to log in, I'm going to go ahead and go through what I know of and throw in a few tips if possible. So the first thing that I added is a new hero, the Princess. Princess is melee with a little bit of heals. In order to get to her, you go to the compass and there's now a button for story dungeon. These are pretty easy. I've done one through six in order to get my rewards, but I have not finished seven through nine, but I'm not expecting it to get any harder. After each three, you get a reward. After three, you get an epic hero. And after six, you get a legendary hero. And based on the wording, it looks like it's a hero that you do not have. I was missing seven legendaries and I got one I did not have. So I'm pretty sure the new label makes me think it, it will always give you one you don't have. So speaking of legendaries, St. Grace is no longer in the mileage shop, which makes me think she's now available as a random pull, which would be pretty cool if it is. Uh, one tip that I wanted to share is that never enter the pub if you have less than 300 gold. And the reason for that is if you get something worth summoning, you absolutely want to do it 3x and get 3x of it. If you go in there and you only have 50 gold and you see three legendaries, you're going to be super annoyed that you weren't able to do that summon. It's better to just not go in there and not see it. And then when you do go in there and you have 300 gold, you're able to do the pull that you want. So if I don't like all three summons, I don't do it. Even if it's two and the third one sucks, I'm not doing that because the chances of me getting that crappy one are really high. These are not even odds of getting one out of three. You're much more likely to get Nudie Jack than you are Feather Corbin. So I'm skipping this. Instead, I'm looking for ideally all three epic or higher. Even if I don't want any of them, I will still do that summon. So here's a perfect example. In this case, I actually do want the healer, uh, but I'm doing that pull no matter what. The next big change is that gear is now upgradable. We finally have a use for those advanced metal bars that we have been getting. In order to upgrade, it has to be equipped. So if you don't see the upgrade button, it's not equipped. Upgrading raises the base stats. It does not raise the percentages and it gets pretty expensive fairly quickly. So I had well over 100 advanced bars before this, and I'm already down to 11 because I focused all of them on my weapon. And I stopped because I noticed that the lifesteal percentage was not going up. I was hoping it would, it did not. Only the base attack kept going up. So just keep that in mind when you're doing your upgrades. The rings from town defense do not seem to be upgradable. Same with the hero stones from Rift. So basically just look for good gear that has the right bonus rolls and then upgrade it as needed. Rift no longer resets if you're below 50. This is awesome because previously I would be at 45, 46, and I'd go back down to 23 each week and have to grind my way back up. So I'm not positive on this because the reset hasn't happened. And again, the patch notes aren't here to confirm it, but that seems to be what they're implying. So if, if that's true, this is a great change. You can just keep going from where you were and not have to start over every time and we'll make your progression much quicker each week. Uh, the other thing that they added was just the regular season hero plays Becky. And that's all for this video. Alright, thanks for watching. I'll see you tomorrow. Maybe. Papa kicks out.